I am so excited because in less than 24 hours, I get the key to my new apartment. I'm in my bedroom at my mom's house right now. She actually made me sleep with her last night because she was like, sleep with me the last time you're going to be sleeping at home. Not that I'm not going to come back and sleep over sometimes, but you get what I mean. But I'm moving out. So I filmed this video like a week ago and I'm just editing it now, but I've been living in my apartment for about a week. But while editing, I realized that I was all over the place in this video. So I'm going to be popping in as future me with commentary. So see you in like a minute or so. I'm honestly a little bit stressed out. A little stressed out. I'm extremely stressed out. I feel like I underestimated moving out way too much. I had like a list and I thought I was like prepared. So I had a list of everything I needed for my kitchen, Tupperware, plates, cups, food. I even had like a grocery list written out. But wow, every time I'm about to do something, I realize, oh, I'm missing that. So like the first day I was gonna go floss but I didn't have flossing sticks. So I was like, okay. Then I went to go shower and I realized I didn't have a loofah. And the list never ends. It never ends. I really haven't started packing. I bought a lot of stuff for the new apartment, but in terms of like packing up my bedroom, I haven't really done that. Let me show you what we're working with. This is what my bedroom looks like right now. I actually filmed the whole like YouTube video doing like a room tour and room transformation a couple months ago. So it's honestly not that bad. It's just a little bit messy. Like I wanted to pause the video right here just for a little bit of a story time background. But if you look right there, you can see at my door, I had a whole bunch of stickers. So a couple months ago when I did a room transformation video in my bedroom at my mom's house, I thought it was the coolest idea to go on Amazon and buy a whole bunch of stickers so I can make my door look like a cow print door. So now I have to go in there and rip those stickers out one by one, like a hundred of them. And I just know it's not going to be fun. This is a whole bunch of laundry that I still need to do. The closet is full of clothes that I need to put away. I don't think the move out process is going to be bad because I'm leaving my bed. I'm only taking this like desk and like the two drawers on the side. Um, my lights, this dresser and this TV. And everything else is basically going to be new. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about how I feel right now. I'm going to take my retainers off because when I talk, I have a lisp. Huh. Hold on a second. So how do I feel? I am so excited. I'm excited to live alone and be able to decorate my own place. I'm excited to not have to share a bathroom with my mom and my brother. I will say not having to share a bathroom with anyone, Ellie. I love it so much. Like, do you know what it is to wake up in the morning and you need to pee, but someone's hogging the bathroom? Like, I've had to wait like an hour just to pee. And I'm a little ashamed to admit it, but I've peed in a cup before. I've peed in a cup because it's really hard to hold your pee, especially when you wake up. But now I don't have to do that anymore. I think it's gonna be like a really exciting step. Um, I think I'll be more productive because I won't have like people interrupting me. I think I'm gonna be able to cook better because honestly, I do like cooking or juicing and doing stuff like that, but I hate doing dishes. Like dishes is probably my least favorite chore. And at my mom's house, we don't have a dishwasher, but in my apartment, we have a dishwasher. So I feel like I'll cook more because I don't have to do dishes. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'll show you the empty apartment tour maybe at the end of this video. Um, but I'm so excited. Yeah, let me show you my idea with the apartment. So I drew out a sketch of like the living area and the kitchen of the apartment because I feel like those are the areas that I'm gonna have a harder time furnishing. So I ordered a couch, but it's gonna come in four to five weeks, which is a bummer. But I mean, I really like the couch. I'll insert a picture right here. And then I also ordered a rug this morning. It's gonna have a fireplace installed, so I'm gonna put the TV over the fireplace. And then I'm not gonna have a dining table, but I do have like a breakfast nook. So I'm just gonna have like chairs there so I could eat on like the ledge of it. And over here is the bedrooms. I actually have two bedrooms. One is gonna have just like my bed and then a dresser. And then the other one, I'm gonna have like my desk space and like kind of like an office since I work from home. But yeah, let's get to packing. So I went to Home Depot yesterday and I got a couple boxes. So I'm going to start with that. I think I'm going to put majority of my clothes and maybe like lotions. And I have a bunch of skincare or like conditioners that I'm going to put in the little boxes. I ended up going out to buy like six more boxes because I just had so much stuff like clothes or like just little knickknacks. I wish I would have ended up hiring movers because I feel like it was very draining. Whereas I could have just started putting stuff away. But next time I'm hiring movers for sure. I always lose the little tape thing and it's so annoying having to find it again.
So I wanted to put my clothes in trash bags. The only issue is that these bags are vanilla scented and my clothes are gonna smell like vanilla. I don't really want that. But I thought it'd be easier so that way I could just like scoop them up and then once I get to the apartment, I could just hang them up right away. Yeah, let's do that. No one's home right now and I didn't really think this through. So I'm gonna kind of like let it drop down the stairs. Like that. I forgot about this part, but I was trying to be aesthetic recording myself spelling clothes, but I forgot how to spell apparently, but it's okay. We got it. We got it right eventually. And that is all I ended up recording that day. I honestly don't even know what happened. I think I was going back and forth from like my mom's house to the apartment and it was just so hectic and so tiring. And I didn't want to like record while everyone else was carrying stuff because obviously if I'm recording, I have a camera in my hand so then I have an empty hand while everyone else is like double handed lifting stuff so I didn't end up recording and then on top of that I filmed an empty apartment tour but the lighting was horrible but I do have a video of when I toured the apartment I took a video of like the layout of it before I signed it so I'll show that as my empty apartment tour but just to quickly recap moving out best decision i ever made i love waking up to silence i love having my own space i just love it so much it brings me so much peace i don't know it just feels so nice to like have your own place and just be like alone and at peace and not have someone bother you or or i can hear my mom playing church music downstairs or i can hear my brother playing video games in the room next door versus here i literally just hear the wind the wind and myself and the heater when i turn it on and it feels so nice but yeah, let's get into the apartment tour and yeah. Okay, so here I am voiceovering it. So the first thing when you walk in, there's these two closets. The first one is the washer and dryer. And then that gets an empty one where I'm going to put like my laundry detergent, broom, mop. And then it's an open layout where the kitchen and the living room is. And that's the breakfast nook that I was talking about. It also has a balcony and yeah. So I cut that off so you didn't see the balcony. But you walk in and then this is the second bathroom. So this is the spare bathroom or the guest bathroom. It's pretty big very spacious like there's a lot of space and i like the lighting of it and then right across from it is the second bedroom which i'm gonna end up using as like my office oh also it's a corner unit so there's a lot of light that comes in which i love and then now we're going into the master bedroom see how bright it is and the lights aren't even on and then i have a walk-in closet which i've never had before so i'm so happy and then my own bathroom which i love so much and then this part I love, like when you walk out, it just looks so pretty and I like how it has recessed lighting and it's so bright. And that is the tour. How do you feel about your daughter moving out? I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> because, ¿yo soy tu favorita? Sí, la favorita. 